Hello guys, my name is Aftab and welcome to our YouTube channel Tech Beginner. And uh, in this video, we are going to show you how to install and configure on cloud on Ubuntu. So, which is a on cloud is the open source document sharing server uh, like uh, Google Drive. So, you can set up your own online storage in your Ubuntu server. So, this is a tutorial I am going to install on Ubuntu machine. So, let's start it. So, here I have already take the uh, Ubuntu machine access. So, for this, we need to execute the command one by one. And also, you can visit this website to do same steps for you. So, here in our first step, we are going to update the system. So, here we are going to execute two commands. So, first one is sudo apt-get update. So, whenever you are going to use sudo apt-get update command in first time in your computer, so it will take few minutes. Okay, it's completed now. And after that, we need to execute the upgrade command to update the security package and another package in your Ubuntu machine. So, it is about to complete. We need to wait till then. Okay, it is about to finish. Okay, now it is done. So this is our second step installing Apache. So there is no major issue. Just you need to copy this command sudo apt-get install Apache 2 with the Y flag to give the con uh, confirmation while installation. Okay, it's creating systemd service. And after this, you need to allow the uh, port 80 in your UFW. So let's check out. I have enable or not. So I'm going to use sudo UFW status. So in my system, UFW is not enabled. If you have enabled, so you need to execute this second command. So now it, it's a testing time to check the Apache is working or not using your browser. So let's get the public IP. So this is my public IP just copy and paste in second browser. So here we are successfully getting Apache test page. Now move on our tutorial. So this section is our completed and uh, to security purpose we need to remove this file also which is this. So let's execute this command to remove this test file. It didn't copy it. Let's copy again. Yeah, if you are going to press enter, so you will get nothing. And after that, we need to install the Apache with modules. So I have already prepared this command in this blog. So you just copy and paste in your terminal. So it will install PHP along with the PHP module, which is required to run on cloud in your Ubuntu machine. So it's installing by default 7.2 that is enough for on cloud. Let's wait until the process is complete. So now it is completed. 
so it's time to check php modules just copy php space hyphen m to verify the installed modules so here we have all the list so go at the another step in step 5 we are we need to install mariadb so for this we need to take a root root account access to avoid any kind of error over installation so here i have successfully logged in as a root user and just execute the command sudo we are not required here so it's a app get install mariadb with y flag to give the confirmation while installation of the package so mariadb installation is under process it will take few seconds to complete it So it's complete now. After that, we need to secure the MySQL installation. So here is the command MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. Just press enter. Here it is asking about your system password. So we are using PEM file. So we, we need to just press enter. And after that, here it is asking about set the root password on the MariaDB. So press Y. And after that, you need to enter your password and after that is it will be asking about remove anonymous user yes disable remote login yes remove test database yes and after that reload the tables yes so here our password configuration and other security is enabled for the mariadb let's log in in mariadb and create the required database and username and password for the on cloud so this is a command which we are going to use to login in mariadb shell just press enter and put your password just like this and after that you need to execute this command one by one so create database on cloud this is going to create the database in your mariadb so it's created after that you need to create the username and password so this command i am going to use for this so it's created after that there is a flush privileges just click like this and after that exit so this part of our is completed after that we need to download the on cloud for this we need to change our directory temp using wget and hit the url of the on cloud zip file and install we need to unzip and uh, after that we need to unzip this entire files in our root document of the apache which is where triple w html change the owner triple w hyphen data colon triple w hyphen data of the file and change the permission also it's a 755 and restart the apache to get changes so let's do this just copy and paste here and after that copy the w get command to download the on cloud package so here it is going to download on cloud zip file from the on cloud server so here it will take maybe 30 seconds here is so in eta estimate time of arrival so we need to wait for this
Mm, and after that, once it will be downloaded, so we need to hit hit the URL just like this, or we need to use the IP address also just like this. And after we need we should get the web page like this installation UI setup. Okay, so it's downloaded. Let's check the package. Okay, it's here. And after that, install the NZIP. So it's done. Use the NZIP command. And after that, change the group and owner. Then change the permission. Then restart the Apache web server. And also check the status. Is everything is okay or not? So Apache web server is running fine. That's cool. And after that, we need to browse our server just like that. So here we are getting the web UI. So here is a mention create an admin account. So I'm going to use FTAB. And after that storage, okay, I want to go with this directory. Okay. Let's check it is available in our PC or not. I'm into the server. So it's exist. Okay. This pass is exist to data file. And after that, uh, where you want to connect your database. SQLite, MariaDB, SQL, PostgreSQL. So we have MariaDB. Just click here, and after that we need to pull, put the database user password, database name. So we just created in our tutorial. So this is our database name. Sorry, just copy and paste here database name, and then database password. And database username. You need to change the credential according to your environment because it is a very big breach. So make sure you will change the username and password and database name. So now it's going to finalize our configuration with on cloud. We need to wait for this. Okay, installation setup has been done. So now we need to log in with our login credential. Okay, so here we are getting successful page of the own cloud. So it's good. It's uh, provide us desktop app, Android app and iOS also. So we can use this app in our mobile also. So here we have set up successfully on cloud setup i hope you will like this video and uh, to get update with me so please like and subscribe this channel thank you thank you for watching